few months ago, three of my friends and I got together and decided to buy an old 1993 short bus. Our goal was to convert the bus into an adventure vehicle that we could take on our fishing trips. The bus would provide us with a place to sleep, a place to store our gear, and a place to come back to after a long day on the water. It all sounded good in theory, but we weren't quite sure how the bus would really hold up. 25! Oh, 26! We decided to take it on a test run back in May, and to our surprise, it actually held up pretty well. It's zero to 60 time is roughly infinity because it doesn't exist. And since it made it back in one piece, we figured it was time to take the bus on a proper adventure. A two-week road trip through Montana. Seven wonder city streets, ocean air and mountain peaks. They are not the finest in the land. Much more and next thing I know, this dude just comes up and just crushes it. There ain't nothing, there ain't nothing, there ain't nothing like coming home to you. With a date set for early July, we had roughly two months to get the bus ready for Montana. We fixed up some mechanical issues, got some new tires, and made some improvements on the inside. We got our tying, editing desk, charging station. We're definitely not mechanics by any means, so we're just figuring it out as we go. Yes! <laughs> Once July rolled around, we were ready to get back on the road. Ready to explore a new part of the country and hopefully make some friends along the way. <gasps> oh, you shouldn't have, <laughs> but I'm so glad you did. There was a lot of unknown ahead of us, but we were excited to call the bus home for the next two weeks. There ain't nothing like coming home to you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Salt Lake City, local time at 11.41. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened. <laughs> All right, here we are. We made here to Salt Lake with Adam here. Uh, Adam's been grinding away at the bus the last couple weeks or whatever, and I haven't seen it yet. So I've been I've been watching his stories on the short bus count, but this will be the first time that I get to see the bus. We just stopped in here. We're getting a little Del Taco, and then we're heading to Adam's, and we're gonna we're gonna go see the bus. Uh oh. Uh oh. There she is. Here we go. First look at the the new and improved short bus. Oh, dude, right away. <laughs> the license plate. Yep. So good. <laughs> dude, the floors. That looks so, like, completely new. Dude, I didn't Big realize time. how bad that blue floor looked <laughs> until you put this down. The floor definitely wasn't flat. And uh, you remember in the middle, like, the seats would be over here, and there's, like, that uh, middle track thing yeah. that was down. That thing was like this. It was like wavy the whole way down. So we got storage underneath the desk here. We got our tying editing desk, charging station. And then uh, at night, Bryant can, will be able to sleep up here as well and leave the, uh, leave the middle open. Yeah, so when we first bought the bus, this uh, storage locker right here was uh, flipped so the hinges were on this side so that it opened towards you. You know, it, it was kind of a pain in the butt for a couple reasons. I, I saw why they did it, but we really thought we needed to have it open this way. Few things it's gonna be nice for. Uh, you can leave the mattress on the bed, so you can just open it, uh, and it's not taking up the middle of the aisle here when you open it. So it'd be a lot easier to access the, the stuff we need. We flipped it around. We left the hinges mounted on the bed part, uh, so we just flipped it, flipped it around. Now we're about to drill a couple holes here couple pilot holes and uh, remount these hinges on the other side of the bed. Well, there you have it. Well, we got to go in here to the Walmarts to pick up all of our uh, food for at least the first week of our trip. We're going to get a lot of dry goods, that kind of stuff. We've got to get Scotty a sleeping bag because uh, his mom reminded him too late to pack one. <laughs> He's already out of room. You know, just every every good fishing trip, I feel like, starts with just a trip to Walmart. Well, I think, you know, we just put down the, the, the hardwood floors. I feel like the wood one's the way to go. Well, we can give a little... <laughs> I think this one's it. Look 
who, look who just uh, look who just showed up. Just Yo, what up, guys? Finally made it in town. <laughs> Got in here a little bit early, and you know they're already putting me to work here. What kind of what kind of uh, trip is this? We got a 13 and a half foot Sotar Strike. Uh, that's the exact same boat that I've had that you guys have seen from the smallmouth videos, the Canada videos. Um, we're really excited to have uh, Sotar on board with us. They, uh, they're lending us this boat for the trip. That way we're gonna be able to film the other boat or uh, at least both of us be able to fish at the same time. Hey guys, I wanna let you know that our good friends at Hatch Outdoors actually sent us an extra reel for our trip. And we are gonna be giving this away to one of you guys. All you've gotta do for a chance to win is just follow us on Instagram, at Wildfly Productions, and we will announce the winner at the end of the series. Also, if you are interested in getting one of these yourself, the Hatch team is actually offering a 20% discount for everyone who is following along with the series. Uh, they've also made it super, super simple. All you have to do is click the link down in our description and it'll automatically discount your order at checkout. So yeah, with the holidays coming up, might not be a bad idea to take advantage of that. And let's get back to the episode. Where's our beer at? Miscellaneous. That's <laughs> um, the main thing. GoPro and some towel stuff, but all the GoPro stuff's in there. Business mode right now? What's that? Are you in business mode? We're in business mode right now. Pretty much all that we have left right now is some rods. We'll probably end up putting those just in the truck. I got two dry bags I just got to throw in storage there. Oh, sweet Jesus. That looks delicious. Um, one second. <laughs> Modern times, that's how you know it's... That's a lot better than that pineapple crap I was drinking. Modern times, AirPods and a Millennial IPA. Millennial IPA. All right, so we got our awning in. What we're about to do is mount it up here across where these lights are. Uh, those lights on top aren't working anyway, so we're about to rip those down, mount the awning right there, so it hopefully is gonna cover up most of the holes. Uh, as I said, hopefully. Awning's gonna be able to uh, fold out, so it's gonna kinda cover a little bit of the back area and then the side of the bus. So most of the times we were hanging on the right side of the bus since uh, there's no entrance on the left. So I got a uh, awning that's gonna hopefully be able to cover that. Whoops. Yeah, I'm just out here breaking stuff. I like that swing. I oh, yeah. That's hot and juicy. Yeah. Yes! Oh, the pizza's here! <laughs> After a long day of running last-minute errands, prepping the bus, and organizing our gear, the awning was the last part to install. Unfortunately, we ran into an issue with the screws that we had, and with it getting dark, we decided we would finish installing it once we got to Montana. Bus is on the road, ready for uh, ready for the voyage tomorrow. All right, we got 4:45 a.m. right now. Bus is loaded up, and we are ready to roll. We did not get a whole lot of sleep last night, but that is okay because we just so happen to have a few beds on the bus. So I will definitely be taking a nap here very soon. So we had a little snafu with the rods we're getting in and they won't be delivered till about 10.30 or so today. Hopefully a little earlier than that, but we are in a tight deadline to get up to Big Sky Brewing Company because they are hooking us up with a ton of beer for our trip. So we are jumping in the bus and while well, I said it's a seven and a half hour drive, in bus term, that's about an 11 and a half hour drive. When, when we get into these one lane roads, there's just a line of cars behind us. You know, that, you know they're not happy. And you, happy. you know that they are not happy with us. But we're uh, at least we're moving. <laughs> what are we? Are we at 40 right now? We're doing a massive 40 miles an hour right now. Really just cruising and uh, making our way to uh, Montana, baby. Hey guys, so Scotty and Steve already took off in the bus this morning. I had to wait around uh, for UPS to deliver us some rods. So huge shout out to Winston Rods. Uh, they really helped us out here, sent us a bunch of rods for our trip. We know we're going to be getting into some different kinds of fish. We've got a lot of different kinds of fish lined up. Streamers, dry flies, nymphs, 
a little bit of everything. So we needed a lot of rods to be able to cover all of our bases. What you guys need to do when you get a moment, run to your local fly shop, hop in and ask them to test cast a couple of different Winstons. You will not be sad you did it. Uh, they're hands down the best. Their warranty is incredible. I mean, I, I can't say enough good things about the rods of customer service. Before you go fishing again, go cast a Winston. So I've got to run. I've got to get on the road. Hopefully I can catch up to the bus and uh, we got to go put these to use for the next week. So we have just concluded the longest beer run I've ever made, 13 hours. Well, I'm thirsty. Greatest thing I've ever seen. So Big Sky Brewing Company here hooked us up with a bunch of beer. Um, we're actually going to go back in and grab a, a sip ourselves here, but we got this for our trip here. Going to load it up in the bus, get in a cooler here. We're going to have some fun. Cheers. How's the drive going? Oh, it's boring. <laughs> you, you missing the bus yet? Uh, yeah, I miss being in the bus. I miss... Going 55 instead of 75. Well, we got up to 65. We did. We were going 60. We were cruising, dude. We were going 65 for a minute. Down the hill? <laughs> yeah, only only downhills. <laughs> it's been a long day. The uh, the bus was real slow. Uh, we had to wait on one last minute UPS package, took a while, so uh, yet again, here we are. We have the bus and we also have my truck because uh, we've kind of spread ourselves a little bit too thin on this trip, I feel like, and uh, there was unfortunately no way around getting around uh, not having my truck this time. So we had like a 12 hour drive today. Uh, we were hoping to make it the whole way. Um, unfortunately, that didn't happen. So uh, on the way up here, did some calling, tried to find some campgrounds that would allow us to truck camp and I got rejected a lot. A lot of a lot of no's from that, even though I was very nice to the lady on the phone. She was not very nice to me. So, if you're watching, I don't like you. But, for tonight, we obviously you just needed a place to crash for a couple hours, get a little bit of shut eye, hop up in the morning, get out of here. Uh, so, pulled up online, found a 24 hour truck stop. That's where we're at. We're uh, parked along the 18 wheelers and all the truckers that are already asleep. We're waking up first thing in the morning, gonna be at the ranger station, uh, ready to launch. Hopefully we can find a campsite early and uh, go ahead and get on the water. where the road ends. I don't know how much off-road the short bus has seen, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna show it some off-road stuff today. But we hope this road stays in pretty decent shape. So and hopefully we'll uh, make it up here right around the time the ranger station opens. Look at these guys. Wow, they're they're champing Man. it. Put me to shame. Adam and I have been driving for what, like two hours now? A two hour drive that was supposed to be a two hour drive. We're about three quarters of the way there, maybe. <laughs> and we, we sent Steve ahead of us to get to the ranger station um, so he can pick up the raft frame and start getting our permits and everything put together. So we're quite a bit behind, but we, uh, we chose this life. We knew what to expect. We knew it was coming and we're going to get there eventually. It it really is a magic school bus. It, its magic ability is that it can turn a two-hour drive into a three-hour drive. So just got in from our uh, long drive here. We're at the ranger station. Gonna go uh, grab our bull trout permits. Go ahead and set up the bus to camp and uh, hopefully maybe do a kind of a short float this evening. I think that's the play. Probably the best campsite 
in the whole campground. We're right by the water. We have nothing behind us. We're away from everybody else. I'm pretty close to the bathroom, but not too close. All right, we got all the stuff loaded in and uh, we're about ready to roll now. Whole lot of driving to get up here. Whole lot of driving and we finally made it. Uh, today I think is just gonna be trying different patterns, trying different flies, um, seeing if there's any bugs coming off and just kind of figuring it out. What fish is not need that for? There we go. That fish hurts it. That fish ate it. Nice. Look at the, look at the, look at the sweat shot. <laughs> it's right on his nose. There we go. First fish. See ya. It's like ankle deep, yeah. and then like a foot later, it's like chest deep, and now it's like 20 feet deep right here. Oh, f I was just requesting the peanuts. Guys, I'm telling you, it's not my day. Oh my gosh. The fly line just broke. As you can see here, Probably. Our fly line got wrapped around the anchor, and as we jumped out to get untangled, the line just snapped. Just decided to snap, and I about lost some peanuts right before this, so champing it today. So it kind of hit a little bit of a midday lull. A couple different factors there. One, never been on this river. Um, two, haven't fished for bull trout in a year. You know, for the northern natives video up in Canada. But we're we're starting to get it dialed in. Um, we've caught a couple fish. We've caught one small bull that unfortunately didn't get on film. It's our first day. I mean, we just got in this morning. We haven't even set the bus up at camp, so we got a lot to do tonight. But uh, at least wanted to get on the river. We haven't fish been fishing very hard, and especially just kind of trying to learn the river, learn learn kind of where they're going to be sitting. We have downsized our streamers a little bit, just trying to see where we're moving fish from. Hopefully, you know, at least if you downsize, you'll be able to move some more fish, uh, which if it's a new river for you, give you a better indicator where fish are hanging out. Right here, right in that shallow area. Well, came around that uh, bend right there, had that nice uh, little drop. And uh, we found this pretty little guy sitting right in that hole. Well, we just got off the river. Slow first day, but we did not fish very hard and we did not fish very long. Adam's right, just, just crushing it after his little bike ride. And then we're gonna head out to camp and I hear Adam's got a little meal for us tonight. He's gonna, he's gonna whip up something for us. Should be good. There's the bus. It's lurking. <laughs> it's just, just lurking in the woods over there. <laughs> All right, now, literally just straight back. What? Straight back. Those are off-road wheels. Well, we should upgrade before next trip. You ain't wrong. Scotty, yeah, I had to do lift. Off-road wheels. It's a lift kit on the grill. Yeah. All right, so pretty much uh, we got our kitchen set up here. We've got our smoker going, We've got the propane burner, uh, that set up as well. So we've got a chicken, rice, and pasta blend that we are going to mix with a herb butter rice and pasta blend. Just small. Just because we're that fancy. It's just how we do it here. Chicken, herb, butter. Wow. So we got some uh, smoked beef brats, and uh, we got our chicken and butter noodle mix. That should treat you right. Of course, with the uh, with the rice, we hit it with a lot of Tabasco because uh, that's what we do. And uh, yeah, it's going it's going to be ready to rock and roll. Oh, it's so good. Mm. You really get the smoky pellet flavor in there, and it uh, it's not, it doesn't detract from it. It actually adds to it. And I think it really just complements the the sausageness in this in this wonderful cuisine that Adam prepared for us.
split the boat? Is it this one or right. over here? Yeah. Uh, we were told it was a little uh, low on water and uh, just doesn't look like anything we haven't done in the southeast. I think this is going to allow us to get some access to some uh, river that not a lot of people are going to be able to wade to. The fishing reports are really good from this area from wading, so uh, we think we can make it even better by floating. Oh, there it is. Let's go.